little. Yeah. We're learning about biodiversity and planting um, all sorts of different uh, plants and things to create not only diversity in the, well, an, uh, plant sense, but also in the animal culture. And also, we found out that it will not only benefit the animals, but also benefit the farming that these people are trying to do in this land. It's a really exciting chance for them to see that crossover between um, their actions as individuals and scientific research. So um, Peter from UTAS has come and had a chat to us about um, the research that they're doing. Um, and so they've got a chance to understand um, ecosystem restoration, but they're also quite excited to actually get dirty and put some trees in the ground as well. We've got eucalypts, four different types of eucalypt this species, uh, some acacias, alocasuarinas, uh, lamandras and some pale grasses as well. We've been very lucky to have a very successful collaboration with Green Australia over the last decade. Uh, it's included multiple plantings such as these um, and we've been able to incorporate a lot of our experimental plantings within these restoration plans just to enable us to learn more about better practices of restoration. Regenerative agriculture is a groundswell, it's a grassroots movement and we're so pleased to have Greening Australia and UTAS on board because we'd like to document the changes in the soil biology uh, and also water retention, carbon sequestration. We need to demonstrate that through data.